This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So it is notified me, it is notified to everyone. Okay. okay. Now you can stop the recording. This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so this is a one day virtual event wherein we will uh, we will try to finish till part two of the master the mainframe 2020 contest myself srinivasan i'm working with capgemini and i am also a part of uh, the telegram group in which i had shared uh, the details about this meeting uh, so I don't want only me to be talking in this meeting. So uh, I can see we have Nagaraju, Tintu, and Prachi. So it'll be great if you can, uh, if you guys can uh, introduce yourself. Um, hi, this is Prachi. I work in Capgemini, so. Yeah, please go ahead, Tintu. Yeah, um, uh, last two years I've been working with uh, DCS and the mainframe technology. Um, and then I'm working with IMS TV. So that's it from my side. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Navraj. I work as a legator. Okay, that's great. So have you got have you guys started uh, the contest? Do you know about this contest? Is this your first time or have you already participated in the previous years? Um, this is Navraj. First time for me. Okay. How about Tintu? It's first time. Okay. It's first time. Okay. Uh, this is your first time. I would like to give an intro about this contest. Uh, master the mainframe. This is, uh, as everyone knows, this is organized by IBM. And uh, this is a yearly contest. And it has been there since 2004. So this contest, uh, the contest is for the students actually. Uh, the high school students or the graduate students, the contest is specifically for them. Uh, so Master the Mainframe has got two parts. One is the contest and the other one is the learning system. The contest is for the students and the learning system is for anyone. Uh, the learning system can be used by working professionals like us. I believe, yeah, I, uh, based on your introductions, everyone are uh, working preference here. So we will be using the learning system. Uh, the contest involves prizes and that is for the students. So the learning system does not involve any prizes. It is purely for learning purpose. Uh, we will be given uh, the system by IBM, like, uh, like how a mainframe requires uh, an IP to connect and, uh, and user ID and password for us. A profile basically for us to work on the system which will be provided by IBM so I have been part of uh, master the mainframe for the last three years so the uh, the contest is completely different this year because in the previous years uh, we were given user ID and passwords and we were given IP and port to connect and then we were asked to download a software this is uh, nothing but uh, the terminal software like IBM Personal Communications, Microfocus Reflection. You'll be using the same, right? What you guys are using uh, at a shop? Uh, in, in my project, I'm using Microfocus Reflection. How would you Tintu? Yeah, it's a great 
Uh, it's a separate application. I don't remember its name. Uh, we have some other application provided by the client itself. Okay. So we are logging to their media and then working on that. Okay. So you basically, you will create a session and uh, you will use your user ID and password to log on to the session and then you will see the black screens. Then you will start working. That is how it was the previous contest. The previous year's contest. Uh, can yeah, I think you can please go mute. Thank you, Raju. Thank you so much. So this year it is completely different. Uh, we'll be working on Visual Studio Code, uh, which is completely different from what uh, you have seen or what you have worked. So uh, I believe they have uh, enabled us to use Zovi, which is a uh, latest tech in the mainframes world. Uh, we'll soon be uh, taking a hands-on, but then let, let's start with uh, let's start from the scratch. So I have my friend Prachi here, and she is also uh, I mean using she is also participating in this contest for the first time. So I'll be I'll be uh, like making her as a presenter, and uh, with her help, we will see how we have to participate and how we have to set up our laptop and use the system so it'd be fun first we will start with the setup which is level one there are uh, three parts in master the mainframe uh, learning system so part one is all about setting up the system you have to establish a connection to ibm's mainframe you have to download the necessary software and you have to set up your pc that's all with uh, part one and part two is where uh, things actually start and today's agenda is to uh, try hard to finish part two that's why this meeting uh, has been created for eight hours so Let's straight away. Uh, let me uh, make Prachi as presenter and then we'll uh, start from the scratch. Okay. Uh, Okay, Prachi, so now you are the presenter. Okay. So now we are going to see how to uh, start the contest. So Prachi, I want you to search Master the Mainframe 2020. Uh, just a moment. Uh, you guys can uh, also follow these steps and you can... Uh, do the same stuff in your PC as well. Master the? Master the mainframe 2020. Okay, just click on the first link. Master the mainframe pipe IBM. Yeah. So here, uh, just click on get started. Okay, so this time you have to sign up for uh, an IBM account. You should have an IBM account in order to start the contest. So, Prachi, I believe you don't have an IBM account, right? Uh, yes. So, in that case, you have to fill this form. If you have an IBM account, then you can simply click on the login, which is at the top. So, no, since I you don't have... have... Okay, you have to fill up this form. How much is that? You can use your personal email ID over here. Mm. 
Anything else I need to give? You just click on next. <clears throat> so you're not a student. Uh, I believe we do not have a student. So no, 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 you, the second one should be yes. The okay. second one, yes. Uh, so people who have joined late, nothing to worry. I have uh, this session recorded. Uh, we are just uh, starting with the contest. Token. So what you guys have to do is just go to Google, search for Master the Mainframe 2020, and just click on the first link. Proceed. Yeah, 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 proceed. So this time, in order to use, uh, in order to participate in the contest, you should have an IBM ID. IBM ID is nothing but uh, an IBM account, which you can create using your personal email ID. Okay, so from here, uh, let's, yeah, we can I'll con click on continue. Yes. Uh, Prachi, maybe you can uh, yeah, close that. If you want, you can upload your image. So this is where uh, you will land after creating uh, the IBM account. So just scroll a bit up. Can I minimize this? Hmm. Just scroll a bit oh. up. Okay, so this is uh, this is the home screen for uh, this year's Master the Mainframe contest. So uh, under the available tab, you are seeing a couple of challenges. So challenges will be unlocked. Yeah, under the available, you are seeing two challenges, right? two challenges. Just scroll down. Just yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. Start MTM at IBM Z day and uh, register for master the mainframe learning system. So these are uh, the two challenges which are available as of now. Other challenges will be unlocked as you progress towards the contest, just scroll a bit. On the right side, you have a leaderboard. Just scroll down. scroll down, scroll down a bit. On the right side, you have a leaderboard. So hmm. if you see, uh, you have two challenges, right? Hmm. So there are, there are points at the lower bottom, right side, lower bottom. So if you finish the challenge, yeah, that is 50 points. If you finish that uh, particular challenge and the other one has got 100 points, points as of now, it is only used to rank you in the leaderboard. And then, yeah, you can also connect with LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, all uh, the social media profiles. You can link with uh, this IBM account. Okay, let's let's start uh, the first challenge. Start MTM at IBM Z day. And just click on that. The first challenge. Yeah. Okay. Just scroll down. Down. Yeah, you just have to scroll. Yeah. So each and every challenges will have instructions like this. You have to you have to read the instructions very carefully. Hmm. Okay, just just uh, just go through the instructions, Prachi. I just want you to go through the instructions. Okay, we are launching MTM with a 24-hour student click codeathon 
Google Chrome. Yeah. So you have to just yes, click sir? on done in order to no no the third tab yeah you you are already there mm-hmm. yeah so this this one is already over so once you click on done uh, these many points will be added to your account okay this is okay this is fine the real challenge starts here register for master the mainframe learning system you have to click on that okay okay so you just have to answer the questions over here which company school or organization are you from you can type your company's name Company's website. It is capgemini. dot com. Uh, guys, I believe you are following these steps. This is how we will register for the master the mainframe learning system. Then continue. Uh, do you accept? the last question you just have to choose an option there mm. stick mm. on the uh, drop down i mean the last question yeah you click okay. on the drop down you have to select yes or no once you hit continue yeah i'll hit wait uh, uh yeah it is loading now okay close close this one you are done with this challenge just just close this particular uh, pop up uh, okay okay just a minute just a minute just a minute just i think there is one yeah, uh, yeah yeah we have to watch the video correct just click on the link again click on the challenge again Just scroll down a bit. Hmm. Okay, one activity needs your input. Yeah, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, okay. Uh, so we have to watch this video. Uh, okay, since since uh, we are setting up the system, uh, I uh, I'll be playing the video. Prachi, you can play the play this video. Okay, we are not able to hear anything. And mm, what I'll do? Okay, the volume. Mm-hmm. Okay, give me a second. I'll try to uh, play the video. Challenges. Okay, hold on, Prachi. I'll uh, try to play the video in my system, and I'll try to present it.
okay, I'm not able to see uh, that particular challenge. Uh, but yeah, this this video just walks through uh, the MTM site, which we are already doing right now. I'm also walking you through the the home screen of MTM, the registration process. So you can check yourself. So for now, Prachi, you can click on complete my registration in order to finish this challenge. So once you're done, you'll see this, you'll see the points getting increased. Close this. Yeah, you just have to scroll a bit up. You will be seeing uh, new challenges now. Yeah, show them now. You have to see challenges unlocked. You have to just click on show them now. You have just unlocked eight more challenges. Yeah, once you registered uh, for the master the mainframe learning system, these are the challenges which will be unlocked. <coughs> okay, let's start with mass main mainframe fun for while you're waiting just click on the first challenge Prati. okay so this one has got four challenges you uh, you guys have to do it yourself uh, this is all about uh, joining the IBM communities and uh, connecting your social accounts. So this is this is something which you guys have to check yourself. So let's go back back to challenges. Just click on that. Okay, uh, we'll start with level one. Just click on level one. Okay, scroll down. There is one challenge as part of level one. Okay, uh, I mean, there are other challenges as well, but uh, we have to finish this particular challenge in order to unlock the other challenges. Okay, just click on this uh, level 1.0, Prachi. Welcome to Master the Mainframe. Just click on that challenge. This one? Yeah, correct, this one. Okay, so welcome to level one of the Master the Mainframe. Watched a quick video below for a tour around the master the mainframe contest. Again, uh, this is guys, this is something uh, which you guys have to do do yourself. Uh, you have to watch the videos. We are having difficulties in playing the videos. We're not able to hear the audio. So yeah, you have to click go there. It will open a separate tab. The video will be opened in a separate tab. You can, uh, yeah, you can close that tab, Prachi. The one, the last tab, maybe you can close it. Not that one, yeah. So just click, hit the play button, watch the video. Yeah, once once you're done with the video, you have to go to the previous tab. Hmm? Uh, no, you have to go to the previous tab from where you were redirected to this video. I mean the third tab in the Google Chrome. <laughs> once it's done. Yeah, once you're done watching the video. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. You. There is there is no link. Okay. Uh, it is not that the challenge will be marked as complete only if you watch the full video. But I recommend you to watch the full video. For now, you can go back to the previous tab. I'll close this. Yeah, you can close it. And yeah, you have to click on watch watch it in order to mark this challenge complete.
so you got the points for this challenge scroll a bit up you will see this message challenge is unlocked so you have to click on show them now okay so level 1.1 is the new challenge which is unlocked just click on that uh, challenge Prachi. your personal data paros 25 points for completing this challenge find out what uh, the ibm z mainframe okay so yeah just go through the instructions carefully this is very very crucial in order to finish the challenges you will learn a lot uh, by walking through these instructions okay got specs curious about how powerful these missions really are uh, click here so you have to just hit on the click here button which is at the center of the screen okay so uh, this is a specs sheet about ibm z15 model you can just go through this sheet this is some additional piece of information you can see the specs of this uh, mainframe yeah for now, for now we can uh, go back to the previous start Prachi. yeah we again have a video over here guys these are uh, short videos I recommend you to watch the videos while uh, going through these challenges. For now, what see Prachi is playing the video, but we are not able to listen to the audio, so we are just uh, we're just going to skip this part. Yeah, you can scroll a bit down, Prachi. Let's get visual. I think you have yet another video. You can always yeah okay the second video uh, is all about l part logical partition so once you're done watching this video you have a question at the bottom this is a funny question we all know that l par stands for large logical partition but here we have a question what does l par not stand for wrong answers only so you have to type some wrong answers prachi tell what something <laughs> what does <laughs> this just type type some wrong answers you know long parrot lock something <laughs> So guys, I, I hope you are following these instructions. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Fine. Hey, uh, yeah. Lock is fine. What is PAR? Nice. Rat. Half right, yeah. Mm. Go ahead, Pachi. Cool, tell me more. Correct. Okay. So close this. Scroll a bit up. You will see this message. But Prachi, do not open the next challenge. Uh just click on show them now do not open it okay okay uh, so uh, level 1.2 if you got if you guys have reached till here uh, this is a very crucial part of the contest because uh, this is where you will get uh, your user ID and password okay so Prachi I want you to not present the screen now you okay you disconnect from presenting the screen open this challenge take screenshots put it in word 
please mask your user id and password and then you can uh, share your screen again but before doing that okay yeah that's fine i need to click that level yeah, 1.2 yeah you have to click on level 1.2 uh, just mm -hmm. take screenshots and put it in a word document uh, you will be able to see your username and password just uh, mask it uh so once you're done just let me know i'll again make you as a presenter and uh, we will walk through the instructions once you're done with the masking just let me know ah uh, how to mask it just uh, i mean uh, just use a square object with white color and just drag on the top of uh, the username and password just uh... or else take a screenshot uh, through snipping tool and uh, erase that one yeah yeah correct you can ignore uh, i mean you can uh, ignore taking the screenshot of your username and password apart from that you can take the other sections put it in the word document uh give me some time now i don't have the snip uh, tool uh, okay it is windows windows shift and yes just try pressing windows button plus windows? shift huh? plus yes and then you just have to scroll i mean you just have to uh, use a mouse and windows drag the part which you want to take screen snap um sini is not talking wait a second let me try or else you can directly search on uh, windows search button snipping okay uh, or else i will do one thing uh, hmm. this particular challenge i will try to present it myself ah i got it i got it wait okay yeah and if there are any links just try to copy that uh, url and uh, put it in the word document there might be some click here buttons if there are any Sini, can you take screenshot of this? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I will present it myself. Yeah, this particular challenge. Okay. Uh, Sunni is done, but there is no link, uh, URL or something. Like I... No, okay, that's okay, that's okay. I there is actually a URL there. Uh, instruction here, that one, or the tip. Grab the challenge instructions here. 
Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I am done. Uh, let me present the screen now. Okay. Uh, Okay, so guys, I hope you are able to see my screen now. Uh, so we are in level 1.2 right now. Okay, yeah, so we are in level 1.2 right now. And uh, uh, this is where you will get your ID and password. So I have just took screenshots to show how uh, the challenge actually looks. So you have you'll have some instructions over here. Then uh, after in this in this section to complete this challenge, get your login information. After this, your ID and password will be shown, and then you will be given some instructions. If at all if something goes wrong, how to reset password. There is a link go here to reset your password. Uh, you can uh, you have to click on this link. If something goes wrong, you have to click on this link to reset your password. This is fine. The important thing to finish this challenge is over here. Grab the challenge instructions here. So this is the link. Let's get into that link now. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so once you click on the link, you'll be re redirected to this page. Let's get connected VAC1. This is where you will download the necessary software. So this is a Crucial step. Level 1.2, you will find your ID and password, and then you will find a link which you have to click. It will get you here. Here, you just have to download the PDF, VAC1 Alt PDF at the bottom. So you need to just grab the, the challenge instruction that one, right? Correct. Yeah, you uh, open that link, Prachi, because I'm I'm going to give the control to you. I have the software already installed on my system, so you have to take it forward. You because you are doing the setup for the first time, right? So I recommend you to uh, go through these okay. steps. So I'm. Let's get connected. That one. Let's get connected. Yeah, there is a PDF. You just have to download the PDF. Are you good, Prachi? Mm, yes, just a moment. It's getting downloaded. Yeah. Okay. So I think we are we are on the same page now. Uh, let me share the control to you. Is the control with me now? Uh, just a minute. Okay, make presenter. Yes. Yeah, so you are the presenter now. Uh, don't scroll down. You have to just close this window because you have your ID and password over there. Okay, you can close level 1.2 now. Uh, yeah. 
Sunil, close. Yeah. So, Prachi, uh, just pa pass the screen. Just pass the screen and remember your username and password. That would be helpful. Because uh, to get through this uh, installation process, you have to remember your user ID and password. Mm -hmm. So, I recommend you to just remember uh, your ID and password. You just have to, maybe you can stop presenting now. Just remember your ID and password. And then uh, present the screen again. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Prachi, are you good? Ah, uh, yes. What is user ID? J zero I didn't okay. tell the password. Okay, yeah. You shouldn't tell the password. I was about to ask what is your password. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you can present your screen now. Okay. So yeah. Uh, before uh, going through the steps in this PDF, guys, those who have joined late, uh, we have just started uh, the contest. We we searched for Master the Mainframe 2020 in the Google. Uh, we click on, clicked on the first link. We clicked on Get Started. We created an IBM ID. We used our uh, personal email ID to create an IBM account. Uh, for this year's master the mainframe contest an IBM account is required So we did that we created uh, an IBM account then uh, It took us to the master the mainframe home screen there were a couple of challenges So we started with level one uh, So you have to finish or not all the challenges will be displayed over there You have to finish some challenges in order to unlock the other challenges so we are in level 1.2 right now. This is where we will get our ID and password. And uh, this is where we have to install the necessary softwares. So yeah, we are just going to start downloading the softwares, installing it and setting it up. Yeah. Prachi, your screen is not visible. Is it visible now? Yeah, it is visible now. So uh, the challenge, you have to read the instructions. Just give it a read. It will be very interesting. Visual Studio Code, often shortened to VS Code, is an extremely popular modular editor used by programmers all around the world. Usually mainframers, we do not, It's this software is very new, new for us. We usually download uh, something like IBM Personal Communications or Vista TNT270 terminal in order to log on to mainframes. But uh, for the first time, uh, we are going to download Visual Studio Code because there's something called a Zoe, uh, which, is, which is newest take in mainframes. We are going to use Zoe in order to, uh, we'll be using Zoe to access our data sets. We'll be using Zoe to access the job details so we have to this for this year's contest we just have to forget about uh, the tnp270 terminal uh, all of the mainframe stuff we'll be uh, doing it in visual studio code so the first step is download the goods there are two softwares which you have to download vs code and node.js 
Prasi, you just have to click on those links. First, click on Node.js. This one? First yeah. one, right? Correct. Uh, here, the recommended is LTS, 12.1, LTS, the first green button. You just have to click on the first green button. Okay. Okay, I think I think it is downloaded. Hmm. Next. Just click on next. Next back okay okay no no issues Rashi, please go slow okay <laughs> okay that's that's not an issue yes srini yeah it's it, uh, it, it, I got a pop up like, uh, do you want to allow the following yes, program yes, to install? Huh? Uh, please, please allow it. So, yeah, you're done installing uh, node.js. Close this window. Go back to the previous tab. I mean, uh, you have to go back to the PDF. Uh, maybe you can check the downloads folder. The last one. Okay, huh? so we are done installing Node.js. Uh, the next good is VS Code. Yeah, click on that link. Hello, hello, just keep on hello. Uh, just click on the first uh, big blue button. The square, square, yeah. Click on that one. The installer will be downloaded now. Hmm. Once you're done, you just have to. Okay, open it, run. Next. Next. Uh, next. 
okay ch- check on uh, create a des- desktop icon yeah next Okay, launch it. Finish. You have to launch Visual Studio Code after the installation. Finish. Yeah, now let's switch back to the PDF. I just don't know. Start tour. No, no, no. This is uh, <laughs> this is for the PDF. You have to close this uh, window. We don't want the tour of uh, Acrobat Reader right now. Yeah, just uh, there is a close button uh, on the right side top. No, 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 not that one. Within this pop-up. Okay. okay. So we we are done with three uh, three steps. The first three steps. Uh, so just scroll down a bit. Go to the fourth step. Okay. So install Zovi Explorer. This uh, you have to do within Visual Studio Code. So I would suggest you to split the screen. Just uh, yeah, just click Windows plus yeah. You just have to split the screen into two. One side have the PDF and the other side you have the Visual Studio Code. How to do that? Yeah, just uh, Windows plus left arrow. Windows plus left button, Windows plus right button. Yeah, if you are yeah. on Visual Studio Code, just press Windows plus right. Windows plus uh, right direction key. Okay, fine. Left, you have pressed left. Uh, maybe uh, in the PDF, we can press right. Okay, this should be 100%. The content should be visible. Uh, so just zoom. Zoom. I mean, in the PDF, you just have to zoom the document. Uh, the, the, the one with the percentage, 13.1 percentage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, How you know, to close you know what, this one? Uh, just maximize this window, and uh, you'll be seeing an option to close that. Uh, the tab at the right side. Just maximize this window. Uh, yeah. See, see. Uh, there is a there is a right arrow. I mean, in between. Yeah. At the middle. Sir? No. At, just see. There is a vertical scroll, right? There is a vertical scroll, right? No, no, no. In order to scroll the document. This one. No, no, no. How will you scroll the document? Achha, this one. On the right side. No, okay. Uh, just see, you are seeing a small button there. Okay. Uh, you just go just go back to the uh, yeah for the document there is a scroll bar right for the document there is a scroll bar okay for uh, the document there is a showing us z z okay okay prachi uh, on hmm. the right side there is an option called compress pdf right on the right side tab the one which you are trying to close hmm. The one yeah. which you're trying to close, there is compressed PDF, right? Just there is a red arrow mark. On the left side, on the, uh, just a little bit on the left side, you are seeing a arrow, arrow mark. mark. Just next to that uh, scroll bar. 
on the left side you are seeing yeah you just have to click on that this one okay all right just no no start so yeah now split the screen windows plus uh, right those the site okay go to the visual studio that that you're good now go to the fourth step uh guys for this uh, for this challenge you have to uh i mean you have to be in this setup you have to split the screens like this so it will be easy for you uh prachi i i hope you remember your id and password yeah just go to the fourth step install Am I zoom in fourth step? uh just scroll there is an horizontal scroll bar at the bottom all down uh you have to use the scroll bars you shouldn't use uh, the one which is there in the mouse okay so the first step is install zovi explorer click on the extension extensions launcher so uh in the visual studio code on the left side you have a tab the visual okay left side yeah so you you can see that icon right uh the one with with uh, several squares yes this one all right got it you have to click on that and type for zovi z o w e z o w hmm okay so the first one you just have to click on the install button the green color button okay give it some time it will get installed prachi uh, just scroll down a bit on the pdf on the pdf just scroll down a bit use the vertical bar yeah show me the full instructions the fourth okay yeah, that's it only this much we have so guys i uh, recommend you to read through the gray boxes in this document for example why do i need these extensions you will have some good info over there so i recommend you all to go through uh, these gray bo boxes it will be there in almost all the pdfs we will be using pdfs because in most of the challenges you will find a pdf like this and you will see all the instructions given up to the challenge in this pdf so uh, you should be extremely careful when it comes to the pdf you have to read all the instructions given over there in order to finish the challenge without any issues uh i think it is installed prachi you just have to use your horizontal sc scroll bar and go to the next instruction the fifth one no in the pdf just use uh yeah so we have to install couple of extensions ibm z open editor is one of the uh, extension which we have to install in uh, visual studio code the same process prachi you just have to type for uh, ibm z open editor so guys this editor is used to view the contents of the data sets first one right yeah you just have to click on the green button so uh, in the main frames how you open a data set view the contents and modify the contents the same stuff in visual studio code you will be doing with the help of ibm z open editor
Done. That. Done. Okay, we will hmm. uh, read uh, the instructions given in the gray box. Just scroll down a bit. They have some good info about the extensions. So we will read. Okay. Just a minute. Yeah, just, yeah. Now do you just have to scroll left side? This Visual Studio is an extensible editor, meaning that it gets more and more what extensions? What I'll do? <laughs> we just have to read that, so you have to help us scroll. Oh. Okay. It, Visual Studio Code is an ex extensible editor. Which is, it gets more and more useful by adding extensions and making your own customizations to it. You can install the extensions you want. Yes, there are some extensions for Rex as well. Uh, but as of now, we don't have to install it because it is not part of uh, the instructions in this PDF. Uh, they have some information about the IBM Z Open Editor. IBM Z Open Editor plugins provide support for types of files you're likely to encounter on the IBM Z platform. Okay. Uh, yes, especially for the COBOL and PL1 programming languages, the Zoe Explorer extension gives you a convenient interface to the ZOS operating system. Yes. So in the last year's contest, we used Vista TN3270 terminal to start the session using an IP and port. Then we were given with a user ID and password. We used it in the Vista TN3270 terminal in order to uh view the mainframes the black screen the black screen which we are used to but this time things are completely different we are going to we'll be using zobi explorer to access the zos zos and uh, we'll be using zobi explorer to access the data sets the job details and almost everything so we are done with four five and six right we're also done with the sixth step, right? Sixth, wait a second. What was uh, sixth step? I mean, Z open editor. Okay. Specify new connection. Uh, connection. Okay, this is a crucial step. Uh, just show us the complete instructions as part of the sixth step process. No, in the in the PDF, just. Okay. I hope close the Visual Studio and then open. We can see uh, this Sorry, sorry. Uh, I hope and we we need to close the tool and again reopen. Then only oh, we can it? see the CEO. See, we already able to see that uh, extension over here. Ah, click on it. Click on it. Click on it. It's not only right. Yeah, the Z. Yeah, yeah. So you you installed it, Prashi. You installed Zoe Explorer, and that's why you are seeing this extension. So once it then shows after... it up, click on it to open up its view. And that is it. It's the topmost place symbol. Additions. This one. Yeah. Click on it. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Click on it. Profile, Press sign. Okay. Okay. Uh, the profile. Yeah. Just type MT 2020 without any spaces. Tell me one more time. Okay. MTM. MTM 2020. MTM. Correct. Master the mainframe. MTM. Okay. Hmm. Just press enter. Enter a name for the connection. Yeah, press enter again. Uh, you have to choose ZOS MF, the first option. Profile type should be ZOS MF. Okay. Uh, here for uh, ZOS URL, you have to go to the seventh step. In the PDF, you have to go to the seventh step. Prachi, you remember your user ID and password, right? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, go to the seventh step. Okay, so this is what we are doing now. We are uh, trying to enter the connection info. Uh, just copy that, yeah, just copy that link. This has got uh, the IP as well as the port. No, no, don't allow, don't allow. You just have to copy, you just don't have to click on that link. What I did? No, you just click on the PDF, no issues. Just go back to the PDF. Open, uh, okay. Now just copy the, from HTTPS, you just have to copy it. Hmm? Okay, go back, yeah, it here. paste it over here. Correct, yeah, you just have to paste it over here. Press enter. Hmm? Okay, so enter the username for the connection. You have to enter your ZID. The ID uh, which you've got in level 1.2, you have to enter it over here. Hmm. Okay, press enter. You have to in, enter the password for the connection. Again, the password which you got from level 1.2. Okay, you have to select false here. Accept connections with self-signed certificates. Uh, you just have to simply press enter. Uh, again, you have to press enter. Enter again. Okay, so now we are done. And you're able to see that a new profile has been added. With the connection name as MTM 2020 under data sets under data sets yes yeah so what you can do now is just click on the search button you can see a magnifying glass right this one just click on the search button yes once you click on the search button at the bottom you'll be able to see yeah again again click on the search button no, go back to the MGM 2020, okay. click on the search button. Hmm? At the top, just enter your ID. Your Z ID. So I, I'll tell you what we are trying to do here. Uh, press enter. Okay, see at the bottom, there is a message, get data set list command submitted. So hmm. what you're trying to do here is, uh, like how you have a user ID with you, like how you will go to 3.4 and uh, search for the data sets which are starting with the, uh, with the prefix as a user ID. We are doing the same stuff over here. So now see after uh, submitting the data set list command, we are now able to see the data sets which has got the prefix of the user ID that Prachi has provided. So Prachi, you have got these uh, files I mean, these data sets and PDS, for example, uh, your user ID dot input is a PDS because you are seeing a arrow over there or you are hmm. seeing a folder icon over there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just, just, yeah, just view the contents. Just click on it. Okay. So this PDS has got three members. If you want to uh, view the contents of the members, just click on any of the member and on the right side, Okay, on the right side, you're able to see the contents of the member. So this is with the help of IBM Z Open Editor. Since you have installed IBM Z Open Editor, that's why you're able to see the contents of the uh, of this member, which is inside the PDS user ID dot input. So I hope you guys are uh, getting what we're trying to do here. Yes. So there are, you can, uh, Prachi, you can go, just go through the list. You'll be able to see the files and PDFs, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are done with, the, we are done with the seventh step in the PDF. Uh, just go to the eighth step. 
we have to repeat the same stuff for uh, Unix system services and jobs. So just go to the eighth step in the PDF. Uh, so this is something which we have already seen show data sets so we're done with the eighth step so let's proceed to the ninth step okay so click the plus next to unix system services uh, so unix system yeah you only if you get your mouse to that unix system services you will be able to see that plus button guys okay so you, here you can Choose MTIM 2020 because a new connection you have already created a new connection. So you can simply choose that connection here and you're good. Repeat the step for jobs. So you have to repeat the same step for the jobs. So just hover your mouse down to the jobs and then you will be able to see a plus button. Jobs is at uh, the next section actually. Come down, come down. Yeah. Hover your mouse near the jobs and yeah, just click on the plus. Click on MTM 2020. Done. So let's see. Uh, let's try to see what jo jobs are running with the prefix of your username. Okay. Yeah. So there you have to just click on uh, the search button. Okay. Yeah. You already uh, did that. So there is only one job which is active right now. So whenever you submit jobs as part of the challenge, you will have to come here, do a refresh, just go, uh, just hover your mouse near that connection name, Prachi, MTM 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there is a refresh button, the second button. Mm -hmm. You can uh, click on this button to see uh, the list of jobs. Okay. If you want to see the uh, just message log and all, you can uh, click on that folder again. You can open that folder. See, there is one job which is active, right? Yeah, so here you'll be able to see the just message log, just JCL, system message, and other DD names. Okay. Uh, this might ring some bells, I guess. Yeah. We are still working on mainframes, but the way how we are working is is a bit different in this year's contest. No, by looking at all these uh, sys message and JSTCL, I believe it will ring some bells. So I think we are done. Uh, in the PDF, you just have to scroll down a bit. There are some gray boxes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, just go through the gray boxes. They will always contain some useful information. Nice job. Let's recap. You have just uh -huh. transformed your computer into a lean, mean mainframe challenge attacking mission. Nice. You might not realize it yet, but right before you is a window into one of the world's most powerful enterprise computers. How far you take your skills is entirely up to you, but we hope you enjoy learning all about IBM Z, definitely. Uh, so do you guys need a break now? So we are done with the setup. I think as part of level one, we do have a couple of challenges, 1.3 and 1.4. Uh, yeah, maybe we uh, we can do one thing. We'll finish level one and then we'll take a short break. So, Achi, uh, you just have to close this PDF now because this we are PDF? done with all the instructions in this PDF. Yeah, uh, no, no, don't close it. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, go back to the challenge window. No, don't close Visual Studio Code. Uh, just minimize it. Okay, you uh, you can close this one. You can feel free to close this this window.
uh, go back to the master the mainstream no no the third tab the third tab okay do yeah, yeah yeah don't click on it uh see you can disconnect your screen now okay click on this challenge you can mark it as complete and then uh, uh present uh, the screen back okay so you're done with that okay before unlocking the challenges i i want you to do do some, something else if if you want to refer uh, the information about the previous challenges the challenges which you have completed then you have to click on the completed tab right now uh, you are in available tab there are a couple of tabs waiting and completed just click on completed tab here you will be able to see all the challenges which you have already completed in case if you forget your username uh, you, you, your id and password you can always get back to level 1.2 you will still be able to see your id and password and you will still be able to see all the instructions over there okay this just a little piece of info so now you can click on uh, show them now to see the challenges which are unlocked okay so level 1.3 yes ready to launch just click on level 1.3 see level 1.2 will not be marked as completed because uh, you have to get back to level 1.2 in case if you forget your id or password you have to get back to level 1.2 so it will be always there even uh, when you mark it as completed it will still be there in the available section okay ready to launch what do we have here just scroll down a bit okay i guess you have to watch a video here no okay a fully loaded g15 mainframe can have up to 190 cpu cores considering even the most powerful personal computers have around eight that's quite a lot okay are you ready to get started on this year's master the mainframe let us know below pretty excited i am pretty excited okay just click on market down done so you have advanced to a new level so now you will see uh, some additional challenges getting unlocked just click on show them now okay level 1.4 click on level 1.4 so guys if you are here then we are done with uh, the setup we have finished level one let's recap in this level you learned a bit about the mainframe what it does and how it is used this is just the tip of the iceberg now that you have access to level two you will start diving in and learning how to use one of these beasts the best part once you finish level two you will earn a badge that you can show to your potential employers 25 points for completing the stage what's next level two is the next stage so level two is where we are going to dive in we're going to learn more about the mainframes so yeah just click on let's keep rolling button Just to scroll a bit. If you're not able to see that uh, 
uh, challenges unlocked message i recommend you to refresh the page just hit refresh go uh, uh, click on back to challenges button this is the home page here you will be able to see the uh, see all the challenges see level 2 is unlocked now so you have uh, five challenges which are unlocked as of now click on that so guys i am not going to walk you through level 2 challenges but this is something which i leave it to you you guys have to uh, start doing the level 2 challenges but still we will be there for any help which you may require so prachi you can uh, now stop presenting the screen and uh, you can start with level 2 by yourself let me present my screen uh so guys i have a leaderboard here uh this is not a leaderboard this is just to keep track of uh, the people who have completed part 1 so if you are done with part 1 just let me know i will just write your name over here if you if you have any questions just feel free to ask uh this is an open forum this uh, event has been created for us to discuss and uh, finish the challenges i still have couple of challenges as part of level 2 i will also be uh, working along with you so yeah so i'm just going to write prachi's name here and uh, myself basal raj i have completed uh, level 1 challenges uh, shrinivas okay thank you basal raj anybody else do you guys need any help with respect to level 1 the part 1 of uh, the contest just feel free to ask here uh let's see who is uh, i mean i will not include myself uh, in this leader board but uh, this is for you guys let me know if you are done with part 2 uh that is the main motto of this one day event we have to help people get through uh, the part 2 of this contest so part 2 has got 12 challenges yeah 2.0 to 2. Uh, one one so if anybody has finished part 2 just let me know i will note down your names i will write it over here or you can you can also share where you are in part 2 Uh, Shrinivas, I think uh, part two also involves installing uh, some softwares, right? 
uh, is it I have completed till 2.9 and I did not install any other softwares. Uh, I'm not uh, sure about the last two challenges. I have to do that. Uh, so once I'm done with those two oh. challenges, I'll uh, confirm. I'm on actually level 2.1 VSC 2. Okay. No, I'm, level two. I'm seeing only one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, let me navigate to level 2.1 now. Just give me a second. Yeah. Okay. I have to pass this. Okay. Let me pause the screen. Go back to level. Okay, 2.1 is uh, VSC2 Pro Tips. Uh, VSC2 is all about uh, learning the shortcuts in uh, Visual Studio Code, browsing the marketplace and stuff. You don't have to install any extensions as such. Uh, so, uh, Basavraj, was that your question? No, actually, I couldn't install. Uh, like you were trying to install some uh, Visual uh, IBM Z editor, right? Open editor. Uh, okay. Uh, I couldn't install that one. Now. Sivaraj, I'll uh, make you as a presenter. Uh, you present your screen to me. Maybe we can sort it out. No, no. Uh, actually, I'm using this laptop. <laughs> okay, okay. I connected through mobile phone. I connected through mobile phone. I'm attending this. Uh, Meeting, uh, I mean, session uh, through mobile phone. Okay, I'm all yes, Basaraj. Go ahead. What was the problem that you were facing? No, no. Uh, I mean, I couldn't install now. I'll install it later. Uh, that whatever you, uh, for, you know, following uh, through that PDF file and installing, right? Yeah. To see data session, I I didn't do that. So without that, I'm doing uh, rest of the things. Okay, I think yeah. So PDF is very very crucial, uh, Basaraj. Almost all the challenges in part two uh, will have a PDF. Uh, you have to read the instructions carefully uh, from the PDF in order to finish the challenge successfully. So, in order to navigate to the PDF, you have to uh, read uh, the instructions given in the challenge because you will find a link over there. Which will take you to the PDF. Okay. Okay. Uh, guys, if you're not uh, speaking, could you please go on mute? Thank you. Thank you.